I'm so sorry, Tzadik. I forgot to turn off your lights before Shabbos. But, come, let's play the Switch game. Ready? No, no, it's Shabbos. Meet Kosher Switch, patented technology endorsed by leading postgim and orthodox rabbis facilitating the on-demand control of electricity on Shabbat while making Chil Shabbos impossible. Anyone who's observant experiences frustrations with electricity on Shabbat and Yom Tov. During one Shabbat, when the timer, the ubiquitous Shabbos clock, prematurely decided that dinner was over, I sat in the dark and thought, it's the 21st century, there's got to be a better way. Using my tech background, I was zochet to invent a method that leverages technology to enhance the observance and enjoyment of Shabbat. That's how Kosher Switch was born. Kosher Switch is not a grama or indirect causation device. It's actually an ungrama switch. It lets us have lights on or off as needed, instead of scrambling to predict those needs minutes before Shabbat. Kosher Switch reinforces a religious lifestyle that's also environmentally friendly by curbing needlessly wasted electricity. It also eliminates the accidental use of traditional light switches. Through its ease of use, Kosher Switch makes Sabbath observance attainable and maintainable by the masses. It also mitigates the prohibitions involving the often misused Shabbos Goy. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi, I need a big favor. My bedroom, the lights are on, so I was wondering if maybe you could come up to my bedroom and... Uh... Are you crazy? Hi, coming up to your bedroom. Yeah, but the lights are on. You're crazy. But technologic innovation is useless unless it also conforms with Jewish law. That's why we sought to validate Kosher Switch's halachic feasibility from day one. During years of R&D, we've been privileged to meet with Torah giants who have analyzed, endorsed, and blessed our technology and endeavors. Uh, it is clear this is uh, not a groma. It's not uh, a There is no question of any malacha being done by using that switch. I recommend that anyone ask their own rov to find out whether it is within the spirit of Shabbos, although there is no real malacha. He has endorsements from any Oyskim regarding the kosher switch. So I wish him hatzlocha, brocha, hatzlocha, bochol ma'is yodav. Ve'ani kvar badakti oto, ve'raiti. Ve'lefi da'ati, lo rak sheze mutar, gam ata mitzvah lecha le'afitz et ze barabim. Now they even have a kosher switch. Kosher switch. You can turn the lights on Shabbat now. Mena shekalati. Shtevrochum pinu nomer, sheze gam kez kasher, kasher la madrin. I was mesmerized to uh, be blessed to see such an invention in my lifetime. But can the kosher switch really be kosher? It's clear why using it is permissible once we take a closer look inside. The kosher switch is easy to use. We'll start in normal mode with the kosher switch on off button in its off or down position. The kosher switch button isn't attached to anything electrical. Its sole purpose is to block or unblock an internally emitted light pulse. The pulse is currently blocked. When the kosher switch button is in the on position, the pulse is unblocked and the switch turns the room light on. Before Shabbat, simply slide the mode selection switch to Sabbath mode. Now the patented kosher switch technology comes to life. The green status light provides absolute assurance that there are no active internal light pulses. In reality, we're only moving an isolated piece of plastic. Just wait for the green and flick the kosher switch. When the red status light is about to change back to green, a single internal light pulse may be emitted, subject to a random degree of uncertainty. In this cycle, the pulse failed to emit altogether. Even when a pulse is successfully emitted, the ability for the pulse to be received is also subject to a random degree of uncertainty. Finally, the pulse is successfully received and the kosher switch turns on the room light. The kosher switch is therefore permitted for consumer use, since all we've done is move a single, isolated piece of plastic. We've spent years developing and enhancing the kosher switch while beta testing it in dozens of homes, institutions, and synagogues. Our latest milestone was obtaining UL certification. Now we're ready for mass production, but we need your help to meet our factory's minimum quantity requirements. By backing us, you're supporting this long overdue techno halachic breakthrough and are making Kosher Switch a reality. So join us and spread the word. Together, we can improve the world one Kosher Switch at a time.